Level 7 upgrade. Aha. Uh -huh. Two packages. And let's take a look what's inside it. First one is from the toys. Let's open it up. And what have we got? Uh -huh, look at it. First we have spring adjusters. Silver aluminium spring adjuster from Hot Racing. Two pairs. Yes, four of them for the four shocks. And we have pistons, red pistons. And that's it. Now let's take a look at this package from Toad RC. Difficult to get open. Let's do this off camera. And what's inside? And there it is. Hot racing, hard and ice shock bodies. And they look good. They are black and gunmetal. And of course, two pairs. Now, let's install it. Now, let's start with removing the shocks. First, remove these two screws that hold in the shock mount. Once those have been removed, take the shock mount off. And take these two screws out of the rockers. Once that's done, just take it out and do the back one. It's the same process. And they are all four removed. Now, you can see the reason why I replace them. They leak. I mean, they really bleed. In two days, all shuckles disappeared. So, new shock bodies, I mean ones, better color, and a better dampening kit. So, let's start. Alright, let's start with the shock bodies and the pistons. So, first step, remove this. Then take the spring off and remove this. How do I do that? I use some pliers with some foam between so we don't scratch up the shock shaft, shock shaft, and then. Turn it and it should come right off. Set it to the side and then take the take this cup off and remove the shuckle. Oh, the bladder is out. <coughs> Clean it a bit and then you can just push the shaft out there's still some more in it and 
push it through and it just come out like that now the most difficult part of this shockery build is that there are eclipse down here I need to replace this black piston with the red one down here the red one has small holes in it and it's a little bit bigger so it increases the dampening how do I remove the c-clips I use an exacto knife and I push the e-clip out It's a very painful process. And I almost got it. Yes, there it is. An e clip. Now, you can take this black piston off. We don't need that anymore. And push the red one back on. Then, push the e clip back on. Just set the clip flat and push it on. Yes, and new person is on. Now get the new shock body. Screw this cap off. And get the old shock body. There's a pop up, pop off cap down here. Pop it off. I use just my fingernails like that. And there is one blue rubber seal down here. A black plastic spacer and another blue rubber seal. And get that into the new shock body first. A blue spacer, a blue rubber, I mean, then the black spacer, and the blue rubber. Just like that. Then take the new spring adjuster or use the old one from the old truck body and just screw it right on just like that then Take new, take the shaft, put it in the hole, and put it through, and then screw the, oh, yeah, screw this back on. A small note, this hot racing shock body is a little bit shorter than the stock bodies, so what I do, so just instead of threading this hole, I leave some thread so that is so that the shock is as long as the old one, just like that. Now, fill it with shock hole. I use safety weight hole. And then uh, get the air bubbles out, and I see you then. So, all the air bubbles are out, and then just screw the cap back on. If that's been taken care of, put spring back on. Also, 
Yes. And you're done. Now, three more to go. And all four shocks are done. Look at it. It looks awesome. Nice silver. It's a theme of looks. And springs are still red for the moment. I'll do something about that. Now, let's mount them to looks. And we are done. Front shocks and rear shocks. I need some bigger shock all maybe 90 weight. The front dampening is great. It feels perfect. The rear it can use some thicker shock all. At the time I use 70 weights, maybe we need to up that to 90 weight. But at least they don't leak anymore. That was Luke's upgrade number seven.